What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name's Zach and in this video we're actually tackling the question of how to create a dictionary in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. Right. What is up everybody? So like I mentioned in this video, we're tackling that question of how you can actually create a dictionary in Python. And for this video, I kind of want to go over a couple things. First, I want to go over exactly what is a dictionary and how it's used in Python. And then I want to go over the, the syntax of a dictionary in Python. And then let's, and then I want to wrap up with a couple different methods on how you can create and populate a dictionary. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So what is a dictionary in Python? Well, just as the name suggests, a dictionary is a data structure in Python. Python that a, allows a user to populate it with a key and a value. And this key is unique, meaning that just like when you, you have a dictionary that you read for like school or for you know English or whatever, um, essentially you look up a value, like look up a name or a word, and then it'll give you the definition. Well, that's the same with a dictionary. Essentially, you have a unique key, and that key can consist of being a string, a number, or a Boolean. It cannot, however, be like a list or another dictionary itself. However, However, the values can be basically anything that you can, any data structure, number, string, boolean, or any other value that you can actually create in Python. Um, so you can have a dictionary of dictionaries with unique keys, a dictionary of lists, a dictionary of numbers. You can mix, mix and match where you can have a dictionary that contains both strings, numbers, dictionaries, and lists all at one time. Um, and so dictionary is a really powerful and often common used data structure in Python. So now let's hop right in and let's actually start talking about how you can write one and create one in code in Python. So like I mentioned, the dictionary syntax is what we're talking about now. And that's actually, it's really simple to write a dictionary because a dictionary consists of a key of value, a key and a value. Um, and that can be, it can be one, it can be multiple key value pairs. Um, but essentially how you write one is, uh, I'll create a variable called my dict and say that, and then this is where the syntax come involves where you go a curly brace. Now this means that we're starting the dictionary structure. Like when you see uh, a data structure that has curly braces around it, that means that it's a dictionary. And then we have to give it a key. Now you can do a number followed by a colon. So the key is first and then you do a colon and then you give it the value. So my number one, I'm gonna say is equal to, so let's do a string and that's gonna be a string of hello. And then if you wanna do multiple, so now like I could print this out right now, print, and then print out my dictionary. Um, and if I run this, you see I get one colon hello. Now, the other way, if you wanted to add multiple pairs to this, you could essentially create multiple pairs by just doing, taking a comma, and then just now going and doing two. So I can do two colon, and then I can go world. And if I run this now, you'll see that I get one is hello, two is world. Um, and you could also do, I believe you can also go give it a string as my key now. And I'm gonna go, um, let's say, give the world a place, um, or we'll say favorite. And then we're gonna say blue. Now, if I run this now, you'll see that I have a key uh, that are numbers and the key that are that is a string. Um, and that's really that's really simple syntax of how you can create a dictionary. Now, there's a couple other ways that you can um, do this, and we'll get to that here in a second. But I want to talk about first about just reiterate the syntax of a dictionary is just essentially the curly braces, and then within the curly braces you have a key followed by a colon, and then followed by the value, and then for multiple ones you just you know add a comma and do repeat that same step. So that's the syntax, the syntax of a dictionary in Python. Now we're just going to get into a few ways of how you can actually populate a dictionary, just like this is one method here, but there's a couple other methods I want to talk about. And we're going to jump into that next. Hey, I just want to jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. So like I mentioned in the previous section, when talking about the dictionary syntax. Essentially, one way to populate a dictionary is to just do this, is just to create it just like that. Um, you, you know all your keys and values, you can just place them in between the curly braces and you have your dictionary. But sometimes when you do, um, when you're coding and you're creating, you know, data, different data structures to do different things, you don't often know what is going to go inside your dictionary or what keys and values may be paired together to create your dictionary. So one way you can kind of create a dictionary off the bat is essentially just to use the um, that actually the dictionary function, which essentially is if I have 
dict two, dictionary two, and I say that this is equal to this. So dict with dict with a uh, parentheses around it. This creates a dictionary. If I print this out, you'll see that this should just be an empty dictionary. And there it is. So you have your first one, my my dictionary, and then my uh, dictionary two essentially is is an empty dictionary. It doesn't have anything in it. It's just empty curly braces. And when you see that, you know that it's an empty dictionary and that's just, that's the symbol of an ancient empty dictionary with no key or value pair. So that's one way to create another dictionary is you just give it the di this, you know, it's the dictionary uh, constructor and it will create one and just be empty with no key value pairs in it. Um, and that is oftentimes used when you, you know, I want to create a dictionary, but I don't know exactly what the key or value pairs are. And that's kind of when you will create that. And another, and I like to use this a lot too, because essentially I, I'll create a dictionary and sometimes like off the bat, I don't know like all the key value pairs or some of them. If I know some of them, what you can do is I can create a dictionary from another dictionary and add to it. Um, and what I mean by that is I can have my, um, oops, go right here. Dictionary three, and that's gonna be equal to dictionary, and then I'm gonna pass in my 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 previous, my first dictionary into this value here. Now if I print this, um, you should see that dictionary three and my dictionary, the first one, are the exact same. And that's because another way of creating a dictionary from, from scratch is essentially to pass in using the constructor with, with this syntax and that'll create a dictionary for you. So um, if I print this out again, you'll see it's the exact same as it was before. Uh, and because the syntax is the same, remember the syntax of a dictionary is just the curly braces for key value pair. And you can just straight up call it now that's how it'll be. Or you can use the actual dictionary constructor, which is this, and then pass, you know, say your beginning values that you know are gonna be always in there. And another way if you wanted to create a dictionary and popul populate it would be to do um, the method which is and I'll just take dictionary two we'll, we'll add to dictionary two is like if you want to populate dictionary two you can essentially do it by going like this using the bracket operator is how you can use the keys and assign them values or just to get values so like for if I were to print out really quickly just really to print out say one so dictionary three at given one is the key, what will that print out? And you should see that it prints out just hello because with a key of one is associated with the value of hello. Um, so now you can also use that operator, that bracket operator to essentially assign values um, to create keys and assign values to them. So I can say, so dictionary two, like we mentioned, is this empty dictionary. If I go dictionary two colon and I say um, let's give it a key of MB, uh, let's do a key of, of say Boise, and the value is going to equal state. Um, big Boise State fan, so we'll just go with that. And if I reprint out dictionary two, we'll go and you'll see that now dictionary two, which was previously down here was empty, should have a one key and one value in it. So if we print this out, you'll see now I have a dictionary of one key with one value, which is Boise State, that's what's up. So that is essentially how you create a dictionary and the many different ways that you can create a dictionary. If you have any other questions on how you can create a dictionary or any other taxes that you'd like to use, let me know, leave them in the comments below. I'll make a video on them or I'll comment right there. And thank you for coding with me today. Have a good rest of your day, keep on coding. Hey, thank you so much for programming with me today. I really appreciate it. If this video about creating dictionaries in Python provided you any value, please hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed, well, subscribe. Let's learn more together about software development, programming, Python. And until next time, keep on coding.